The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the second gene immunotherapy treatment for cancer in two months. The new therapy, called Yescarta, is geared toward adult patients with certain aggressive types of non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Back in August, the FDA cleared the first gene therapy for leukemia to hit the market, clinically tested on mostly children and teens. The emerging immunotherapy field is heralded by medical experts as a breakthrough in treating cancer and possibly other types of diseases. Gene therapy works by taking cells from the patient's body and genetically modifying them to attack cancerous cells. The altered cells are then reintroduced into the patient. The treatment is only authorized for patients who've unsuccessfully undergone at least two other alternatives. Although the complete remission rate in clinical trials for Yescarta was 51%, the FDA does warn there could be severe side effects and is requiring the manufacturer to conduct further studies on patients. And it's expensive, with a U.S price of $373,000. Still, as one immunotherapy expert puts it, FDA approval of Yascarta will likely save thousands of lives in the next few years.